हेलो एवरीवन स्टैंडर्ड सेवन सब्जेक्ट साइंस लेसन नंबर सेवन मोशन फोर्स एंड वर्क पार्ट टू लेट्स रिकॉल व्हाट वी हैव स्टडीड इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो डिस्टेंस डिस्प्लेसमेंट वेलोसिटी स्पीड एंड वेलोसिटी एवरेज वेलोसिटी एंड इंस्टेंटेनियस वेलोसिटी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी टॉपिक एक्सेलरेशन फोर्स न्यूटन फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ मोशन फोर्स डिस्प्लेसमेंट वर्क एंड एनर्जी वॉट इज एक्सेलरेशन acceleration is the rate of change of velocity usually acceleration means the speed in changing but not always when object move in a circular path at a constant speed it is still accelerating because the direction of its velocity is changing the acceleration of an object is equal to its change in velocity divided by the time in which the change occur example an object was moving north at 10 meters per second the object speeds up and now is moving north at 15 meters per second the object has accelerated when the car slow downs when you fall off a bridge the car turning at the corner is an example of acceleration because the direction is changing the quicker the turn the greater is the acceleration A good example of law of acceleration is a car. For example, we are in a car and pushing down the gas pedal, so we are accelerating. Motion in a uniform circular is an another example of acceleration. Where the acceleration applied is toward the center. Acceleration is the rate of change in velocity. If a body changes speed or direction then it is said to be accelerated. Acceleration formula of acceleration is change in velocity upon time taken for change. Positive acceleration if the velocity of an object increases with the respect to time then the object is said to be in positive acceleration. Negative acceleration If the velocity of an object decreases with the respect to the time then the object is said to be in negative acceleration In the previous example we had studied about the truck cover the distance AB at the velocity of 60 km per hour BC at 30 km per hour and CD at 40 km per hour It means that the velocity for the distance CD is greater than the velocity for the distance BC so why it is greater because cd was 40 km per hr and bc was 30 km per hr 40 km per hr is greater than 30 km per hr that's the reason the velocity cd is greater than bc from the number of seconds required for this change in velocity to take place the change in velocity per second can be calculated this is called acceleration the truck driver increases or decreases the velocity of the truck by a means of accelerator you might have seen a toy car that runs on a clockwork spring when it is released on a flat floor after winding up the spring it goes in a straight line however when it is heat on one side it changes direction and keep going If it if it collides into a wall it stops it means that its velocity changes how did this change take place it happens because the car comes in contact with something external to it on a football ground how does the direction of the ball moving in a straight line change we see some player changing its direction by kicking it when its direction changes the velocity of the ball changes that is to say an acceleration take place 
the interaction that brings about the acceleration is called force force acts on the body acceleration the rate of change of velocity includes an increase in speed decrease in speed or change in direction of an object F force what is force force is simply a push or a pull exerted on an object in order to change the motion of the object force can change the acceleration of an object this acceleration can be a change in speed or direction of the object scientists express force using a unit called newton that is n the force is the interaction that brings about the acceleration due to the force there is a change in the velocity of an object force is a pull or push force is a capacity to do work or cause physical change a force is that which changes or tends to change the state of rest or motion of a body force formula force equal to mass of the object into acceleration newton first law if no force is acting on a body its velocity will not change the body will not show acceleration if a body is stationary it will remain stationary if it is in motion it will continue moving with the same velocity and in the same direction if the force acting on the object is zero then its acceleration is also zero an object at rest remains at rest and an object in motion remains in motion with the same speed and direction newton's law states that every object will remain rest or in uniform motion in a straight line unless compelled to a change its state by the action of an external force this is normally taken as a definition of inertia example a stationary object with no outside force will not move with no outside forces a moving object will not stop newton first law applies to the horizontal motion by doing the activity by rolling the ball on the floor and observing its constant velocity once they let go of it an object will move in a straight line or a given direction at a constant speed unless or until another force acts upon the object causing a change in speed and or direction take a glass marble and let it roll on a big smooth table top after some time its velocity will decrease and it will stop on a carom board too the carom coin pushed by a striker will move forward some distance and then come to a stop if the coin is pushed after applying talcum powder to the carom board it will keep moving for a longer time and then comes to a stop what can we infer from this we can infer that the velocity of the coin decreases due to the force of friction and the coin stop velocity of the coin decreases due to the force of friction and the coin stop if the force if the friction between the carom board and the coin is reduced the coin keeps moving for a longer time it will mean that if no force of friction is acting on a moving body it will keep on moving with a constant velocity The scientist Sir Isaac Newton was the first to study force and the resulting acceleration. Newton's first law of motion: If no force is acting on a body, its velocity does not change. That is, the body does not accelerate. In the other word, if a body is stationary, it will remain stationary. if it is in motion it will continue moving with the same velocity and in the same direction in the figure you can see a string is attached to a wooden block on a table and it is passed over a pulley and tied to a weight on applying a sufficient weight the block will be seen to move now 
विच फोर्स इज बींग अप्लाइड या हाउ कैन दिस फोर्स बी इंक्रीज वॉट विल हैपन ऑन अप्लाइंग मोर फोर्स वेन कैन वी से दैट वर्क इज डन बाय द अप्लाइड फोर्स इफ द ब्लॉक्स मूव फॉरवर्ड वी कैन से दैट इट हैज बीन डिसप्लेस्ड ड्यू टू डिसप्लेसमेंट वी से दैट फोर्स हैज डन सम वर्क कैन वी मेशर दिस वर्क वी नो दैट वर्क डन डिपेंड्स ऑन द फोर्स एंड डिसप्लेसमेंट formula express the relationship work done by the force equal to force applied to the body displacement of the body that takes place in the direction of force in the si system the unit of work is joule that is j while the unit of force is newton that is n and the unit of displacement is meter that is m in cgs system the unit of work is arc If a force of one end parallel to the surface of the table is applied to a wooden block on the table, and the block is dip, and the block is displaced by one meter, then it can be said that force has been done, one joule of work, that the force has done, then it can be said that the force has done one joule of work. In this example, the displacement is in the direction of the force. as we had completed our lesson number 7 motion force and work hope you all have understood it very well thank you